Lumber is not cheap these days, so we want to stretch every last inch we have. Sometimes you're down to a point where your board is almost exactly the length you need to get two of them out. And cross-cutting it can be a place where a lot of waste occurs. So the first thing, I've got a board here that's about six, inch, six feet and one eighth, and I need two 36 inch lengths. That means I've got one eighth of an inch to spare in order to get two 36 inch lengths out of this. And that's actually pretty good. An eighth of an inch can go a long way. It's not something you can do on a table saw. You could probably pull it off on a band saw, but how are you gonna cross cut a six foot long piece? So really, the solution becomes the hand saw with a nice thin kerf, but you can't afford to have any extra in here. So rather than me starting with one of my rough cross-cutting saws, like my six or seven PPI saw, I'm gonna move straight to my panel saw. This is actually a 12 point per inch panel saw. So it's gonna leave a much cleaner cut. I'll have a lot less wood to take off when it comes to shooting the end. Now, when you're cross-cutting like this, I find that a lot of people, they recognize to take their non-dominant knee. I'm left-handed, so my right knee is going to go on the bench. This holds my work down. But a lot of them will kind of stand back from the board and cut, you know, also holding down with their hand, and cut this way. It'll work, but you end up not really being positioned to hold the board securely, and your body kind of has to twist and maneuver in order to get your saw cut aligned. I find the best thing, put that knee on the board, bring your other knee right behind the cut and push it up against the board. This will prevent the board from shifting back towards you as you make that cut. And it positions your shoulder right over top of the cut line. So now I can cut right down the line. My body is perfectly aligned. Nice extension all the way back up to the shoulder. You can see your line the whole way. Get your cut nicely established. And you see the board will not move. It doesn't want to move. The only pressure is maybe back towards you. And again, my knee here is preventing that movement and really kind of locking my body in place. And now I was dead on my line got a really nice clean cut. It's actually almost polished with that fine PPI saw. And I've got boards that are almost exactly the same length. The one on the top is a hair longer. And I've got 36 and a 16th and 36 and probably a 32nd. This is a 16th inch tape measure. By the time I come and square these edges in the shooting board, I'll have two perfect 36 inch boards with really very little effort required to true them up because there's so wood to be so little wood to be removed.